Hey there, Super Coder! Today we are going to create a sumo game in Scratch. We need four sprites for this game. Two sumo fighters facing each other. I drew mine, but you can draw or upload yours if you wish. I also adjusted their positions a little and created two costumes for each player, so it looks like they are punching. The blue player will be controlled by us, and the red player will be the bot. To control the blue player, we need a button sprite, and we also need a circle sprite to set the winning boundary. We will place both players inside this circle. Cool! Now let's get started. Let's start coding the blue player first. So go to the button's coding area. When we click the button, our blue player should move forward and push the red player backward. So drag the block when this sprite clicked. Now, clicking the button shouldn't move the button itself, right? Instead, when the button is pressed, blue player and red player must move. So the button will send a message. Let's name it push by blue. Now go to the blue player's code. Add when I receive push by blue. Then add change Y by 10. Try clicking. The blue player moves. But there is a small problem. Only blue moves. Red is not getting pushed back. But we need that for our game. So when the blue player moves forward, it should tell the red player to move backward. To do that, add a broadcast message called move with blue and place it before change Y by 10. Now go to red player's code. Add when I receive move with blue, change Y by 10. Perfect. Let's fix starting positions. For blue player, add when green flag clicked. Place the blue player in the center of the ring using go to. Do the same for the red player, but adjust its X and Y position so they face each other. Now let's give the punching effect. Add next costume when they move. Also, after when green flag clicked, add switch costume to standing for both players so they start in a neutral pose. Test it. Cool! You can even add sounds when they move. Now let's set up how to decide the winner in our game. The idea is simple. If blue player pushes red player out of the circle they are standing in, blue becomes the winner. To make that work, the standing circle and the background should have different colors. I made the backdrop color green. So if the red player touches the green background, that means blue has won. Let's code this. Go to the red player sprite. Add a when green flag clicked block. Then add a forever block. Red should always be checking. Inside forever, place an if block with the condition touching color green, and inside that if block, broadcast the message blue win. Next, let's make the winning moment look exciting. We'll add two extra backdrops. One that says blue wins, one that says red wins. You can even copy the players into these backdrops to make it look more colorful. Now go to the backdrop code and add, when I receive blue win, switch backdrop to blue win. And don't forget, when the green flag is clicked, switch back to your starting backdrop so the game resets properly. All right, let's test it out. Cool, right? Let's test it. Uh-oh, the circle and sprites are blocking the backdrop. So for each sprite, add, when I receive blue win, hide. and also show them again at green flag clicked. Test again. Cool, it's working perfectly. Now it's time to make our red player act like a real bot and start pushing. So go to the red player's coding area. To make the red player move forward automatically, add the block change Y by minus three. Try clicking it. Great! Red player is moving just the way we want. Just like we did for the blue player, we'll also add next costume for that pushing animation. Broadcast push by red, so the game knows red is attacking. And await one second block to keep the timing smooth. 
Wrap all of these blocks inside a forever loop, because red should keep moving for the whole match. And don't forget, add a when green flag clicked block at the top. Now, to push blue when red moves. In blue player's code, add when I receive push by red, change Y by minus three, and next costume. Nice! Let's add the winning of the red player. Same logic as blue win. In blue player's code, if touching green, broadcast red win. And for every sprite, when I receive red win, hide. Then in the backdrop, when I receive red win, switch backdrop to red win. Perfect! Now both players can win! That's it, Super Coder! You just created a fun and exciting sumo game in Scratch! See you soon with another amazing game! Until then, happy coding! Bye!